Brezhnev Company, one of the Roscosmos State Corporation leaders, is currently manufacturing antenna systems for prospective transport spacecraft. The antenna systems will ensure communication between manned missions and mission control center in various frequency bands. Meantime, Brezhnev experts are finishing manufacturing the first flight model of the antenna system. After successfully passing acceptance tests, it will be delivered to the customer, Rocket and Space Corporation Energia. Resetnov company has developed a new national standard for spacecraft protection against electrification effects. It was approved by the leading Roscosmos Enterprises and the customer Russian Institute for Standardization. In the nearest future it will be prepared for publication and implementation in the state corporation enterprises. The new Russian national standard is the fourth regulatory document that has been created by Resetnov experts for the benefit of rocket and space industry. Research and development activities for arranging local waveguide production have been finalized at Reshetnov. The company has implemented closed production cycle of world-class performance waveguides. Reshetnov managed to fulfill its demands for waveguides and began producing them for the benefit of external organizations. Reshetnov has manufactured a prototype of a new generation energy converting device. For the first time, it features functional basic modules and digital automatic control system designed by the enterprise. Engineers tested the device operation modes in conditions simulating illuminated and eclipse orbits and verified the compliance of its performances with the specified requirements. Reshetnev Company has presented the Mobile Radiation Oncology Suite project at the meeting of Russian Academy of Sciences. This is a medical device for use in intraoperative treatment for cancer patients. The Scientific Council participants recognized it expedient to implement Reshetnev development into medical practice. Oncology Research Institute of the Tomsk National Medical Research Center and Sechenov First Moscow State Medical University are taking part in the project as well.